Namaste to one and all. Welcome to my channel. Today's topic is ecosystem. And this topic is connected to the school activities of life, mission, lifestyle for environment, mission, lifestyle for environment. Connected to this circular school activities uh, we have done. And uh, here the three videos uh, uh, we have done. Uh, uh, one is regarding circular, another one is school activities uh, altogether just uh, given. Then the part three, it, it was about the forestation and part four, celebration of Earth Day. But the Earth Day that uh, uh, we have done regarding the solar system and solar eclipse, it is not completely done the Earth Day. Earth uh, Day is concerned. Some matters we have discussed about that. Uh, then now comes the biodiversity celebration, International Day for Biodiversity. What other things? Yes, biodiversity. Uh, see, there are schools to organize activities related to biodiversity in the ecosystem. It may include exploratory visits to gardens, nature, eco parks, etc., or discussions on proactive steps. So you can have the visits to these type of gardens, natural eco parks, etc. and have a discussion on proactive steps that may be taken at individual levels. What are things we can do for the conservation of biodiversity, conservation of ecosystem, individual as well as the community as a whole and uh, with the invited experts can be taken sessions in the school. So that way the children and the community should be given to the awareness regarding ecosystem uh, conservation of ecosystem and uh, conservation of biodiversity. So biodiversity is connected to ecosystem. Let us see what is meant by ecosystem. Here I just made an effort, uh, little effort to do the different types of ecosystem because in this biome there are different ecosystems are they uh, so first of all we can see what is ecosystem it is a group of living organisms that live in and interact with each other yes several living organisms are there they will live and interact with each other so each other in a specific environment here uh, i had given the equatorial forest deciduous forest dust uh, grasslands deserts uh, then uh, connected to a lake and ocean and uh, regarding the tundra regions. Um, uh, more than that, one artificial ecosystem also given here as an example of a park. So let us see what about the, uh, what is meant by specific environment. When we say about the specific environment, there is biotic and abiotic. What are the biotic things? So, uh, what about the sunlight, temperature, rainfall, water, landscape, mountains, For all this will come under the uh, abiotic uh, factors and uh, des uh, desert plains, then coastal regions, etc. will come under the abiotic factors. Then, uh, biotic factors are animals, plants and living organisms. So, how these animals, plants and living organisms interact with the specific uh, environment that is known as ecosystem. So see the definition of ecosystem. This is the definition of ecosystem and these are the factors and uh, yes, then animals and plants. That is biotic system and next we can see what are the carnivorous and uh, herbivorous animals. Carnivorous animals they feed uh, from the flesh of other animals and herbivorous the, their, uh, their food is based on plant and plant based products and examples of examples of herbivorous uh, animals they are elephant, camel, goat, sheep, donkey, rabbit, cows, kerals, mice, grasshopper yes I am not giving much details you know about the herbivorous animals also then comes uh, forest so here Forest will come under the ter terrestrial uh, ecosystem. T uh, uh, terrestrial ecosystem are there, freshwater ecosystem are there, and the marine ecosystem are there. There are different types of classifications here. And uh, here in the, uh, when we say about a forest, it is an ecosystem characterized by a dense community of trees and animals and microorganism. A large variety of plethora of species are there. It is a treasure house of uh, animals, plants and uh, microorganisms near the equator regions. 
So the equatorial forest, as it passes through zero degree, you know that in that area, heavy uh, temperature, heavy rainfall and high temperature are experiencing. That is why there we are having uh, thick forest or equatorial forest or conventional forest. Every day, this uh, that area will get the rainfall. So that is why in that thicker forest, all types of animals will be there. Especially we can see the giant type of animals are there. Anaconda will be fine there. That is the Amazon basins and uh, regarding Africa is concerned, the Zaire area. So all these areas, the equator is passing through. So there we are having uh, the plants and animals, their growth, uh, uh, the growth of plants, we know that we need a the uh, water and sunlight that is enough because every day rainfall and every day sunlight mornings are uh, sunny days and by afternoon only afternoon by clouds may be formed and by 3 3 3 30 there may be rainfall every day that is a specialty of the equatorial area then comes the deciduous forest the deciduous forest also almost all types of uh, animals are there the only the thing is that the trees are uh, not having that much that much rainfall that is why they will shed their leaves that is a deciduous forest then here i have showed the grasslands desert then uh, freshwater ecosystem and marine ecosystem then tundra ecosystem then another one is man made ecosystem so let us see what is in the grassland so i will tell you all this Ecosystem, we can start with a community of organisms that live and interact in a grassland. What is grassland? A few or no trees. Few or no trees are found. Vegetation is dominated by grass. Then comes desert ecosystem. What about desert ecosystem? Deserts usually get less than 25 centimeter rainfall. So larger than the same way community of organisms that live and interact with each other in a large, extremely dry area of land with a sparse vegetation. Then comes aquatic ecosystem. The same way we can start a community of organisms live and interact with each other in the water-based environment. Yes, the water-based environment. Uh, what about the, what type of animals will be there nearby that area? Birds and animals and uh, 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 plants so like that then aquatic ecosystem uh, then marine ecosystem marine ecosystem is marine uh, uh, ecosystem consists more uh, the plants and uh, more uh, animal species uh, different types of species you can find there and uh, so that is uh, in seas and uh, oceans that is vertebrates and invertebrates uh, can also be seen there. Invertebrates means that there are no uh, backbone. Yes, here I will show you. Yes, see. Some pictures I got that way. Some are there like that. Some uh, yes, jellyfish there. And so this is the thing. Yes. And the corals also showed there. Uh, sponge like that. Corals also. So here, uh, this is the thing regarding what are the species you can find here. So this is an ecosystem. It is rich, uh, rich ecosystem, marine ecosystem. It is more salty. And uh, the other one is freshwater ecosystem. Yes. Then comes uh, the taiga ecosystem. Taiga, uh, sorry, here I have showed the tundra ecosystem. Uh, what is the difference between taiga ecosystem and tundra ecosystem? Taiga uh, the ecosystem means that it is in between 55 degree to 66.5 uh, degree. And uh, the tundra ecosystem is yes. here tundra ecosystem. A community of plants and animals live and interact with each other in Arctic and on the top of mountains. Top of mountains also the same. Climatic conditions will be there. Cold and minty. It is between 55 degree to 66.5 degree then what are the animals you can find they are moose brown bear salmon great gray owl like that goes see that i think the science uh, uh, teachers and those who are studying the science subjects they may uh, then plankton also plankton and algae what is plankton 
plankton are the uh, the 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 food of fish then in between i don't know whether i for i showed you yes i i am i am not remembering whether i showed because the second day i am taking because of certain reasons these are the these are the plants and animals that we can see in the desert then uh, then we can see yes so what about the tender region you can see the polar bear and uh, other animals also have showed you then comes the artificial ecosystem this is really all this ecosystem what i have said already they are not so in, in influencing us the ecosystem influencing us is the artificial ecosystem that where human made structures were human made structures railways roads buildings buildings for business all this uh, parks zoo then aquariums botanical gardens etc so the artificial ecosystems are human made structures where biotic and abiotic components are made to interact biotic and abiotic components are made to interact with each other for survival so you know that we are having agriculture this agriculture is really uh, clearing the forest or clearing the land then after all plowing tilling and sowing seeds and after all we are having the uh, uh, we are having the plants whether it is wheat or rice according to the climatic conditions and according to the soil and after all you know that uh, it can be uh, yes, the particular crop we can reap. So this is not originally it is and not like natural vegetation. What we said already, all the areas are regarding natural vegetations. But this one is not natural vegetation like plantation crops. We are planting and uh, harvesting like that. So it is man-made. And there comes the importance of human being. Whatever the human being, what, what are the things human beings should do or should not do, that is the awareness the school should give that the students should know the community should know so here most often if we, when we say about the sea and ocean also overfishing will be there forests are concerned hunting will be there people used to put waste uh, littering uh, is there so all this will endanger the species it will endanger the source of water so and uh, also the impact of construction work uh, and use of pesticides insecticides so we have, what we have to do, we should use the eco-friendly uh, fertilizers we should uh, use. It's a biodegradable uh, type of products you should use. So uh, what are the things, at least few things I have written regarding this. There is use of products which can minimize the impact on biodiversity. So products we have to use which should minimize the impact on biodiversity. Reduce waste of consumer goods. So food clothes, elect, electric, electrical appliances, etc. Support local farms, plant local flowers, local fruits and vegetables. Encourage species to colonize urban areas by creating ecological corridors. That is, when, we are const when the construction uh, happens, most often the habitats of the birds or habitats of the animals may be disrupted. So they should, they can, they should move from one area to another area because of the bridge or because of the expressways, because of the uh, huge, that is, uh, that type of uh, railways, they cannot, railway tracks, they may not, they cannot cross. So the, that is why the ecological corridor should be provided for dedicated pathways uh, to create favorable for the uh, habitats. So this is the way I have written. Yes, a lot of things just I wrote now, I, I, as far as I wrote this much, I just I have written that jolly. Then one agency's name also I have to tell about here. Uh, that is, uh, uh, yes, that is about International Union for Conservation of Nature. That is the International Union for Conservation of Nature. And they, it uh, is influencing, influence, encourage, assist, uh, uh, to conserve the integrity and diversity of nature and ensure that uh, any use of natural resources, it should be equitable and ecologically sustainable. And uh, the World Conservation Union now includes more than 
Yes, and there is a World Conservation Union now about 16,000 entries in the red list of uh, uh, that is, you know, that uh, extended, uh, that they, the species are becoming uh, extinct or threatened. So here, I've written about 16,000 entries in the red list, the threatened species, 5,624 vertebrates and uh, 2,101 invertebrates, I told you invertebrates, no backbone, then 8,390 plants are under threat. So we should do something for this. The whole community should do this thing. So extinction rate has increased from 50 to 500 times. Uh, if uh, That is when it is calculated in 2004 onwards, that is a data showing that uh, is all the organisms all plants, all animals, all type of trees are essential for the biodiversity, keeping the ecosystem in a proper way. So it is. this is our right to, not the right, this is our duty to conserve it, preserve it. And whatever we are doing, that is for the, for the next generation. And whatever the minerals or water is, here comes water, water resources and soil conservation is very, very important that we can see in another way, the, a, a, particularly when the cultivation takes place, uh, understanding that uh, when huge machineries are used, when huge machineries are used, uh, that is uh, for harvesting or for plowing, uh, we can see that uh, especially during the plowing time, the wet soil is pressed because of the heavy machinery majority of the small microorganisms will die so it may be destroyed microorganism destruction of the microorganism means that uh, the fertility of the soil will lose or the original content of the soil will lose so this is an important thing for the soil loss or the destruction of soil so why why there is no soil what happens is uh, these days we are hearing about the soil movement why if no soil means no water sustaining in the ground, the groundwater level should be raised. That is regarding water construction, we have to study a lot and the groundwater level should be raised. The Whatever the rainfall we are getting, that should be preserved and kept for future also. That way anyway, in the, it should, uh, somehow we have to uh, harvest the water, what we are getting from the rainwater. So if there is no rainfall, the, uh, the soil will be become thicker and after all it started to break uh, breaking the soil that means the weathering will take place and after all only sand will remain sand will remain means that uh, no soil no plants no plants means no food so soil is concerned now water you already know the majority of the countries are facing the water problem it is also should be taken into account all of us should uh, contribute uh, from our own path and it is very serious matter. Uh, one thing more, this can also be done. Yes, this way. Also, you can uh, take a till and you can fill and you can make one park or garden or something. So, this way. Okay, that is all regarding this video is concerned. Yes, you can find out several uh, several methods are there. Several uh, awareness me methods can be done, measures can be done in the school level. Just uh, today I was focusing on the different ecosystem. That is why I'm not uh, going detail for that. Okay, anyway, use eco-friendly products as uh, uh, um, as far as possible. Thank you all.